you've got to take care of your outboard motor. Otherwise, it's going to end up somewhere like this in the boatyard. Well, actually, you'll be lucky if it ends up here at Norfolk Marine, because then a guy like Chris Breeden is going to work on it. Hey, Chris. A very important part of outboard motor maintenance is making sure the water pump impeller is in good shape. Yamaha recommends that you check it every season and replace it every two to three. Chris, what's the first step to replacing your water pump impeller? First step, remove the lower unit. All right. Okay, the next step, we're gonna remove the water pump housing. Now, Chris, obviously this water pump impeller looks to be in really good shape, but what would it look like if it was in need of replacement? Okay, typically if you had one that was two or three years old, you would notice some grooving in here. There would be set to the uh, water pump impeller, and also you would have scarring and grooves inside the cup, and also you could get melting as well. So, Chris, if this impeller was in bad shape, which parts would I need to replace here? Well, on a typical water pump replacement, you would replace the bottom gasket, the base plate, the impeller, the woodruff key, and also the cup. Now, if you're mechanically inclined and you have a good set of tools and you feel comfortable with it, this is a job that some boat owners can do by themselves. But if you have any doubts, take it to the pros. Does it affect your warranty at all if an owner does this? Does not. Another thing, by the way, anytime you take any of the fasteners out, you want to make sure you put some type of marine grade grease just to keep the threads from seizing up in the aluminum. Now we've brought the boat over to a fresh water supply so we can start it up and make sure the job went right. Okay, when you first fire it up, you're not going to see any water, but you're probably going to start seeing it coming out of the grates here and the prop hub right here. Once you get, get that, it's going to come out of there next. All right, she's pumping water and we're ready to roll. Chris, is there anything else we need to do before launching this boat? Last thing we need to do is just check the shift, make sure we uh, didn't miss it on the shift rod and that's it. All right, thanks for your help. You're very welcome.